Quiet as this cap, you might not need your hairstylist after this. Do you see this hair? It is sitting lace melted. You know I did that. And let's not call this a wig. It's an extension of me. I kind of like that. Now, this is not your typical wig review. This is a party. We are celebrating the sledge here on today. And of course, I included a headband haul. I'm trying them on, showing you some looks. So make sure you stay tuned in. Now, this is Kiari. I heard about her from Shanice Nicole here on YouTube. I'll link her channel below, but honey, one thing that this unit is giving is everything, okay? The layers, the body, the slightly textured hair, not all the way silky, so it's giving me very realistic vibes, and you know they came through with the pre-plucked hairline, and of course, this signature ashy lace. Not even trying to hold you. Let's talk about the cap construction. It's pretty standard. You get your combs on the left and right sides along with adjustable straps and an additional comb at the nape. You all know I like this collection of wigs because there's not much that you have to do if you are a beginner and you're trying to test out different styles. But if you are anywhere like an intermediate advanced, stay locked in because the way that I tweeze this unit, subtle differences, I'm telling you, from tweezing the very front edge of the hairline and then kind of gradually moving backward, being very intentional about how you tweeze because all I'm trying to do is make sure that the hairline doesn't look boxy. Even though it is pre-plucked, I find that the hair is in one consistent line, especially at the front. So what I'm doing is just trying to break that up, create a little bit more transitional density. Now check that hairline now. We did something, okay? Especially if you're just you're trying to step it up, this is the way to go. I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in 355. I told you guys, this features that ashy lace. I think this is kind of like their signature. So I like to go in and add some pressed powder across the entire lace front edge, especially around the front of the hairline. And I want to set it using the Bedhead Mini Hardhead Spray. This is the star of the show. We're gonna use her to set that powder and allow it to air dry. But in the meantime, I'm cutting the lace around the ear tabs before I put my unit on. Beginners, I highly recommend this so you get a more accurate fit. Now to putting the unit on. Of course, I have my Fresh Meek Millies. No wig cap nor a wig grip and that lace looks perfect, which is why I go in and use that pressed powder. But maybe I'll graduate to lace tint one day. Now, I'm going in with this kind of wax stick and I'll have one linked that you can find on Amazon. And this is just to situate the hair back and away from the face, especially during the installation process. And then after I comb the hair to distribute that wax, I'm going to use my double prong clips and my duck clips just to keep everything in place. My camera stopped recording so a portion of this clip is gone, but I removed the lace at the center. The best tip that I find is to apply the mini hardhead spray directly onto the lace after you positioned the wig exactly where you want it. Oh, there I go calling it a wig. Let me calm down. This is an extension of me. You know, let, let's stick to the script. So you guys see that I am taking the spray and dabbing it in places using a very modest amount but going all across the entire section of lace that i have removed so again i'm going to actually start spraying it into the hairline but be careful and again i'm using a cotton round with alcohol just to wipe away the excess this is the most beginner friendly step if you want to make sure that your unit is exactly where you want it and you don't want to chance it moving with a small tooth comb, I'm going in to remove any excess hairspray. I don't want it sitting on the hair. And I'm also just going to use that comb to press the product into the lace so it adheres better to my skin. And don't forget, use the cool setting on your blow dryer. You can go anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. You want to make sure it's tacky. Don't try to skip this step. You know what I'm saying? If you want to skip a few uh, salon visits, make sure you stay locked in and follow my advice. For the lace on the side of the unit, we're gonna do a bit of a different approach. And I really want you guys to stick with me because this, this works. And this spray is the best for installs. Like I, I can't even, but can we talk about that meltdown right there without any product? This lace is a perfect match. But anyway, let me let me get back into it. So I'm going in with the mini hardhead spray and I'm going to spray that exactly underneath the lace. And I'm gonna let the lace kind of press against the spray but we're not gonna let it stay down. We're gonna pick that lace up, 
use that blow dryer on the cool setting so both the product or the spray that is sitting on the lace and my skin gets tacky that's going to allow for better adhesion a better installation it's a lot cleaner it's a lot neater again use that cotton round with a little bit of alcohol to wipe away the excess and be sure to focus on those ear tabs because they can be the trickiest but this spray holds it down i'm not even gonna hold you Oh my God, so while I was recording this video, my friend actually called me on Instagram video chat. Check out that feature, I was shocked. But you know, this is what happens when I'm filming. Okay, so back to the process. I already installed the other side of the unit, so I'm just making sure to wipe away the excess spray. Now this is the tightest elastic band in the world. I'm gonna have some linked in the description box, but I'm going to just wrap this around the hairline for about like 10 minutes. And that thing just popped off, okay? Now you see how the hairline is sitting. She is melted because you don't want this spray to build up on the hair. It can create a white cast. And then with the hot comb, I just wanna make sure that I have the most movement with my hair. You want that stiff wear, not stiff right there, okay? Don't be clockable, be undetectable. And now around here, you don't need your baby floater, you don't need your little donut. We just do adult swoops. We don't, we don't take it on a swim and do full blown baby hairs. I like to take a very tiny section of hair, trim it down, and I'm gonna use the Got To Be Ultra Glue Invincible Styling Gel, just a very little bit. And I'm just gonna start swooping. And so one of the things about this, if you find that the gel has kind of like hardened because it's dried, what I like to do is take a mist of water and it helps to loosen the product, but it allows me to continue styling without feeling like I have to do everything over. So yes, Shanice Nicole, if you are listening, sis, thank you for putting me on to this wig. Y'all know I love this collection. A lot of people have found out about my channel because of a number of the units from this collection. So shout out to y'all. If you're new, definitely subscribe and turn those post notifications on. It's gonna be real cute up in here. You know I'm gonna keep bringing this layage from here on out. Now, originally the hair was kind of going straight back. So I just did some slight swoops so it doesn't look too harsh and it looks softer. Again, I didn't want the hair just going straight back. Now you already know what's next. Let's do that elastic band. And this is gonna stay on for a little bit longer than the last time. And when I come back, honey, face beat. Okay, I got glamorous because this wig really, it took me to a new dimension. I'm like out of this world with this lace. The lace is melted. That hairline looks so good. I'm going to do a middle part because I'm going to be trying on headbands. I was like, we cannot put any concealer in the part because I don't want to, you know, get my headbands dirty. Now to open it up, I'm using the back edge of that hot comb and make sure it's not too hot. Mine is between the 10 and 15 mark. And I'm going to take that hot comb so that the back edge of the hot comb, that flat surface, rests right alongside the part so it lays super flat. Now for these headbands, you definitely have to let me know which style is your favorite. You knew I was gonna come through with the light pink. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I had two other styles. This comes with, I think, six different colors. The next color is like a softer olive green color. This came in a pack of like five or six. So you have a lot of fun colors to choose from. I love that it has like that velvet kind of suede feel, super soft. Just position it correctly so your ears aren't flying forward. Again, I was just trying these on. The yellow happened to be my favorite. I feel like it went with the makeup, but let me know which color headband you're feeling and would you get this unit? Now it does shed a bit and trust me, it does tangle, but I like to serve these looks. It's affordable and you know what? You can work on your styling techniques. So thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up. Kiki with me in the comments. Definitely make sure you subscribe with this video a thumbs up and I hope I see you in the next one.